What's up, friends? We are out at the Angry Beaver. Right now, if you guys haven't seen the front nine, go check that out. I'm out here practicing for a tournament all month. Um, the tournament's in the beginning of the next month in April. Um, really working on the extension of my arm. I got a whole bunch of new discs that I'm throwing that I'm having a lot of fun with. We're currently at even, which is actually really good out here. Um, if, I, if I were to finish even, it'd be around 1,000 rated based off the, uh, the last tournament that I played here. Um, so I'm feeling good. We got lots of holes we can birdie. Just gotta play smart, gotta hit my lines, gotta get good extension, all that kind of stuff. Let's get it. Hole 10 here, 331 feet, probably plays closer to 315. It's flat and then goes downhill. I'm gonna be throwing the new Lore Vines Bounty here. Down the left side, expecting it to turn a little bit. Wanna try and get that good extension on my arm. And then a nice follow through, not forcing anything, letting the extension create the power and the spin. Yes, now sit down, sit down. Come on, dude. All right guys, so pin high there, pretty good. Disc stabled out a little bit, which is what I was expecting it to do at the end of its flight. Got about a 15 footer here, elevated basket, no big deal. Oh my gosh, that was almost too high. Solid birdie, solid shot, nice and compact. Good throw, didn't force it. Let's go, man. All right, so this hole I've been throwing the uh, Lucid Air Trespass. So it is a distance driver, pretty understable. Um, I can pump it and, and it turns over really, really nice uh, into the long fairway up there. So that's what we're gonna try and do here. No, I missed my line miserably. Okay, we'll just have to take our medicine from there. All right, throwing the grace here. I'm gonna throw it right through this gap. And just try and get some distance on it. Not going for anything really here. Man, this is like, this one's awkward. Like I almost wanna to go to the right of this tree. Turn. Really? All right, I might end up blocking you guys a little bit, not sure. Throwing the soft justice here. I actually really need to give this some power because we're about 175 away and I need it to push up to the basket. That's perfect. Wow. That was a brilliant shot. Yeah, really, really good shot right there. Perfect speed, perfect angle, everything. That's what we're looking for. So we're one down. Throw in the beaten stag down this left gap. Let it flip and carry down towards the basket. Hopefully I can save far from there. All right, so this one might be kind of hard to follow or see. Um, throwing the bounty on a sidearm here. Hoping to carry down into the circle. Oh, I hit a tree stump. Uh, I needed uh, probably two more inches and it would have been parked. All right, so we've got a little bit of a look. We tagged this tree over here, otherwise we would have been up there a little bit closer, but this is okay. We're probably pretty close to circle's edge here, maybe 30 feet, so just inside. Let's go. Good stuff right there, really, really good par save. Still one down, let's keep going. All right, throwing the new, more stable bounty. Uh, aiming on the left side, expecting it to pan a little bit and then come back. Mm. 
Nope, missed it. Maybe not. Yep. Dang. All right, so our shot actually pushed forward here, which is good. Um, just want to get a nice, easy approach up towards the basket. That was not a nice, easy approach. And I'm directly behind that tree. I should have just thrown it like that, but I don't know why I didn't. All right, so kind of right behind this tree, but I think that we're, I think we're clear. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I don't wanna straddle right now. Gosh, dude, a bogey on this when you seriously could have so, so easily birdied it. Oh, guys, that's brutal. That's actually brutal. This is not a hole that you bogey. All right, throwing the rive here. Wanna push it straight. I need to start aiming like 150 feet to the left in order to hit this gap. So I don't want to do this, but it's probably the smart play for me to take the rive, throw it up high on a hyzer, and actually I might, I might go with my new uh, adder, throw it up on a hyzer and uh, let it get down there and just try and try and play smart. Yeah, okay. So, now I just have a sidearm approach, hopefully. All right, so throwing the bounty from here. And just gotta give us that putt for par. Yeah, that's a putt. I went off a little bit to the left. Yeah, so we came off a little bit to the left here. But I've got a putt, so. Should make this. Man, I wanna quit. That hit all of the chains. All right, so. And throw the rive, try and push it straight. Follow the fairway down to the left. Just don't want to go right on this. I feel like I always end up missing right. About six inches off. So I said that I didn't want to miss right, but I missed right. Um, barely though, so we got to figure that out. I'm gonna throw the grace down here. Um, I want it to land on an Anheuser because I don't want to end up too far right. We do still have an opportunity to get par here. So. Uh, that might have just gone into the river. Even though I barely threw it. Well guys, I, uh, I lost the grace. I've been looking for about 15 minutes. Um, it did not, I walked down the entire creek. In order for it to have floated down the creek, it would have had to land on its top and got no water in it, which I don't think is possible. It's probably here hidden under the leaves or something, but I can't find it. So if y'all come out here and play and find a purple grace, hit me up. Okay, just throw in our uh, soft justice here. Settle down. Oh, that's deep, okay. So that putt will be for bogey. I was afraid of coming up short in the water there. So I threw 30 feet past the basket. <laughs> that's not what we want. But 
we're practicing our putt, so let's get it. So this is for bogey, which is gonna bring us up to plus two. Man. Yes. Well, at least my putt feels good. All right, so yeah, it sucks that we lost that purple one. I'd really been feeling good with that sidearm, but I just got a new one from the guys at Lore, so we'll break that one in and be good to go. Throwing the stag here, uphill. Just gonna hit the gap. Wow, that's a really bad throw with an extremely lucky finish. I should have a putt. Holy cow, I missed my line. All right, so this, I've been here a couple of times. Um, it is framed up in between these trees, but it's still a fairly difficult putt. But we can make this. That's in. Oh, man. Oh, both of those are on good lines. That'll be a par. All right, so we've got two more holes to birdie to get back to even. All right, so I am going to sidearm this new adder here. Throw it out. Uh, try and make it flat and it should push back. Gonna give it some height too. Oh yeah, get down there. All right, that's gonna give me a putt. All right, so I'm gonna be putting from down in this mud, like slop area. So, oh, yeah, that's kind of deep. We're not deep, but that's definitely slippery. Um, but, this should be an easy putt for us. That's in. Boom! Dang, dude. That was such a good putt. It was uphill, so I gave it a little bit more. Dang. Still plus two, I needed that birdie. All right, last hole here. Plus two currently. Um, I'd love to birdie this one. Gonna throw the trespass. Not gonna give it as much Anheuser as I have been lately. More so just gonna throw it flat with power down the left side. Now flat now just a little. I didn't give that enough air, but that was a really, really good shot. If I had thrown that 10 feet more in the air, that would have been right around the corner. All right, so I'm gonna throw the same disc um, and this time I'm, I am going to give it Anheuser, but I'm going to throw it down the right side. Yeah. Uh, okay. I might have, I might have a circle two putt. All right. So we're a hundred feet away. We hit this tree right here. We'd miss that tree, we probably would have scooted up to about 40 feet or so. So birdie might be out of the question here. All right, so I'm gonna try and throw this one in. Throwing the soft justice up high. Let it crash down into the basket. Oh, I missed it. Bum, bum, bum. Ended up plus two. Had three birdies in there. Super frustrating, man, but I'm getting there. I feel like I'm doing a lot better. I feel like I'm playing smarter, just getting kind of some bad breaks and stuff. Um, I'm gonna keep coming out here and playing, working on it, and hopefully have a good tournament at the beginning of April.